Students anxiously shuffled into the student union, ready to lose a pint of blood in hopes of saving three lives. From Scott Center News, I'm Estelle Lippi. I participated in the blood drive because I really like the feeling of knowing that I can potentially save lives with my blood. And um, it just is like a really good feeling to know that like you're benefiting people in like a pretty easy way. We set the date down on our calendars and communicated with the Red Cross almost a year ago, a little less than a year ago to get, just get the date planned. We are the first people to use the new student union, so that's pretty sweet. Um, and a month before the blood drive, we started sign-ups. Uh, we did online sign-ups this year, which is the first time we've done that. I think it works pretty well. I like the system where you can pick what class because like, I picked one of my easier classes that I have a good grade in that I know I could miss. And yeah, and I think it like helps to spread out like the amount of people in the student union at one time. We uh, get them set up out here on these beds here and the whole process takes about 15 minutes. The average person takes about six to eight minutes for them to finish the donation process. Um, so I actually have O type blood and I know how difficult it is if you do get into an accident and you have O type blood um, to receive blood because you can only get that specific type. So I know that if I was in that position I would want to have blood available for me. I feel like there's a need to help others and just knowing that my blood could go towards saving people's lives or helping them have a more positive experience uh, is a good thing to do. I think like the snacks and like the water and the juice really helped because like I felt really lightheaded and they like really took care of me and put like paper towels and like did all the procedures and then I felt like a lot better so I think like those definitely help and they know what they're doing. We do the blood drive around Halloween because blood sort of goes with the Halloween spirit but we also do it because People have started getting into the flow of school and we want to give people the opportunity to give blood in a time that is convenient for them. We do two blood drives in the year, one in October and one in March. And we do the second one because a lot of students can't donate blood until the end of the year because you have to be 16. If you miss this blood drive, make sure to mark your calendars for March when it returns. From Scott Center News, I'm Estelle Lippi. Thank you for watching.